We're going to begin, though, with the hunt for a killer. Brand new video showing the suspects wanted for the fatal shooting of a popular Detroit DJ. We'll start there tonight at 5. DJ Slick B was shot and killed Friday during an attempted robbery on Detroit's west side. And Detroit police believe the two people you see in this security camera video are responsible for it. Let's get to Larry Spruill. He's live with a closer look at that video, Larry. Well, Kimberly, police say this video is a key piece of evidence. Now you can see where the two people are over here. They're saying that they were just around just minutes before DJ Slick B was shot and killed. Now I spoke with his friends tonight. They're saying that they're hoping that this will bring the family some justice. I was angry. I was uh, I was upset. I was devastated. Um, I was I was heartbroken. Local clothing store owner Ladon is still dealing with the death of one of his closest friends, Byron Gilbert, also known as a popular Detroit DJ, Slick B. No, I can't. I still can't wrap my head around it um, because I'm just like, it's why? And that's what police are trying to figure out. That's why Tuesday they released this video of who they say are the two suspects who shot and killed DJ Slick B February 7th on the corner of Westman Nichols and Eileen. Police say the two suspects waited near this black truck for both Slick B and his friend to show up. That's when they shot both of them. DJ Slick B died on the scene. You took the jury, why shoot him? Not once, you know, but like multiple times. That's the question on everyone's mind who knew him. Like he, he was just a great man, a great friend, a great father, a great, a great brother, a great nephew. Like he, he, he meant so much to, to the community, he meant so much to Detroit. The city who he loved recently showed their love for him. Family and close friends held a benefit concert in his honor. An honor LaDon tells me many will never forget. Now I believe Sleepy is a legend. You no know, legends never die. And uh, affirmation means that his name will never be forgotten. And again, police are asking if you know these two suspects seen right here in this surveillance video to call police. We're live tonight at police headquarters. Larry Spruill, Local 4. Larry, I'm wondering any word on the other victim in this case? How's he doing? Well, Kimberly, I asked police that very question earlier this morning, and they tell me that he is still recovering. And once again, they're just trying to get to the bottom of all of this. Kimberly? Let's hope somebody knows something and speaks up. Larry, thanks.